G'day everybody, it's Matt here, and today I have got the Lopro Tahoe BP150 Lightweight Backpack, which is a camera bag that's also designed to be big enough to carry a tablet and DSLR with a lens fitted, plus space for an extra lens slash charger. It's all fairly flexible, so you can fit whatever's gonna work for you. On the side of the bag there, we've got a mesh pocket, great for a water bottle and that sort of thing. Then the back and the straps have quite a bit of padding on them, so it's perfect for a bag to wear. In the top compartment here, yeah, it's basically just a smaller zippered section, and it goes about two thirds of the way down the bag, so it doesn't go the whole height of the bag, so it is a little bit of a smaller uh, zippered section than you might think, but come under that into the next layered zippered section. And this is where it gets spacious, more so than you would expect. This one does go down the full depth of the bag all the way to the bottom there. And we've got a bunch of different sections in here. The center pocket is large enough to fit a phone. So I've got an iPhone 14. And then we've got at the back of this section is our tablet pouch. I've actually got a 13 inch MacBook Pro, which I'm putting in here and it fits. Now it is a tight fit. Yes, it does require a little bit of juggling to fit under the zipper there, but it does fit and it does not feel like it is too tight or difficult to use. So I'm actually pretty impressed with that. So that means you can fit up to about a 13 inch laptop in the tablet pouch of this backpack. So it's really not just a tablet space. It is also a laptop space. In the main section of the bag, we have a little memory card slot. In the main bag here, you can see our adjustable compartments. So these are all Velcro. So we can move these around, adjust them to fit however works for our camera gear. So this standard configuration that it comes with is about the right size to have a camera with a DSLR or a mirrorless with a lens attached sitting in that middle section and then your extras down the sides. Up the top of this bag is a zippered pocket and this pocket is remarkably big. There's actually a lot of room in here. So this is also a partly Velcroed in, which is interesting on the underside of it. There is Velcro there and so you can get under there. Now that does actually give you a little bit more flexibility than I first thought because we could actually remove that Velcro from the bottom of it and Velcro it down further in the bag to some of those other pouches. So that would give us the ability to make that zippered section bigger, which is kind of cool. So I've just put in a Canon 500D with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens attached and that fits in here, no problem. And then we've got those four spaces on either side still for spare lenses, charger, flash, all that sort of thing. Or of course I could adjust this if I wanted to. The backpack does sit fairly high, but it does feel really comfortable on. It doesn't feel like a massive bag, which is great. To me, it looks like a camera bag. It's not super subtle, but it doesn't look like a bag that you would potentially be carrying up to a 13 inch tablet or laptop. It keeps that a little bit more inconspicuous, even though it is clearly a camera bag. I think these look great. They do feel really good. Probably the biggest thing I think just with it on is I would like a chest strap. Otherwise this bag feels really nice, really comfortable and great to have on. It does also have some plastic clips on the sides, which you can use to pull the bag in a little bit tighter. And so that'll give you a little bit more security just in terms of keeping your camera section locked down, but also gives you the ability to compress the bag down just a little bit more, make it just a little bit smaller again. So that is it. That is the Lopro Tahoe BP150 camera bag. Hope you found this video helpful. For information and pricing on these backpacks, make sure you check out the affiliate links down in the description. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Have an awesome month and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.